It is February the 18th, 2021. I'm Andy, and this is the Menorcan Mullet Report from the Golden Ray Rec site in the St. Simon Sound. Uh, weather was uh, pretty nice this morning when we first made it out. Uh, weather came in a little bit later, started having some rain. Expect that rain to continue through the night and into tomorrow. And it looks like the guys are going to have a rough time making these repairs. And here we go. Uh, with the VB pulled out away from the ship, we did see the maintenance barge underneath the arches. And it looked like they were in the process of uh, either uh, pulling that cable off uh, the, the winch system or loading it. it uh, uh, the reeving process takes a while. And for what we've uh, been told by one of our, our viewers, that that system holds 5,000 feet of cable. And you can imagine that is a process to unspool that amount of cable and then replace it with new stuff. Uh, pretty daunting task, but it looks like they are well into it and they're moving ahead with that process of trying to get everything um, spooled back on nice and new. And then there will, I guess, be the repositioning of the VB and reattaching the cutting chains and hopefully making some headway through that stubborn, stubborn Section 7 cut, which has not just been their friend at all. It has been a booger to try to cut through. Um, we're sure that the support structure that makes up the engine bed in that area is really giving those guys a fit. On the bow side of the ship, it looked like the car barge may be getting ready to depart because it looks like they've really got those cars stacked up. They've been working on this, and we didn't get around to uh, the bow side, the south side of the of the wreck yesterday. I made it today, and. Uh, while we're out on the side, we had uh, some some viewers that pulled up on Cap Fendig's charter and uh, said hello and said they watched. So we certainly want to say hello back to those guys. And glad you guys made it out on the sound to see the see the wreck up close and personal. But here we can see that the barge is the car is really starting to stack up on it. Looks like they're about run out of room. So we expect any time now that this. This barge will be leaving the environmental barrier and headed back up the Turtle River to be unloaded for uh, cleaning the barge off and getting ready maybe for some more. Port of Brunswick. The Crosby Star appeared to be taking on some fuel. It had a couple of tanker trucks alongside at the port. Looks like she was taking on some fuel. So we put the drone up and thought we'd just skim around a little bit and get a few pics of what's going on there from the bird's eye view, if you will. We flew uh, over, took a look at the Kurt J, uh, the Crosby Star, uh, the Cheetah. Just kind of took a scan over what was going on over there. Uh, looked at the uh, Pacific Horizon, and we did notice that that uh, that large grapple clam, the 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 piece that has been on the uh, dock, has been loaded onto the onto the horizon. You, when we fly over that, you'll see that big claw over on the deck of the uh, uh, the horizon. Of course, the Pacific Horizon is that really big barge with all the complex looking mechanisms and the really large crane, massive crane that is on that that piece of equipment is impressive. 
and it's been doing a lot of the loading uh, from the port onto the barges uh, for the supply barges that are headed back out to the VB. Here we see the Kurt J uh, alongside the Pacific Horizon, and we're going to get in there and get some better, better uh, or some closer shots of what was going on there. Um, pretty interesting looking assortment of of systems that are on that uh, barge and um, kind of fun to look at. But over on the uh, the side of the barge that is closest into the dock, closest into the part port, you can see that claw back over there, uh, yellow uh, with uh, blue pieces on it. Uh, the hydraulic cylinders on it are blue. Uh, it's a really massive claw system for uh, I guess recovering uh, whatever may be into the into the bottom that needs clawing. They have the equipment to do it with. And here we can see uh, the barge that is uh, ready to receive uh, Section 7. Again, that's section of the ship that has that main propulsion unit in it, that big diesel engine. It, it looks like it is prepared and ready to go. I also sp spotted what appeared to be uh, maybe a piece of the deck system that was uh, on the uh, barge here. I'm not sure exactly where that came from, but it may have been something that, that was picked up by the uh, uh, the car barge, if you will. And we know that they did have a, a section or two that they picked up, and this might be from there that they would have placed on this barge. Um, it's a pretty big piece for that hopper barge, the way they're stacking the cars in, and maybe there. And as we made it on down, uh, we saw crews that were working on uh, one of the dry dock systems and it looks possibly like they're securing cribbing down on the deck of the uh, dry dock system here. Of course, from what we understand, this is this dry dock is going to submerge and help to help to uh, take those uh, take the load of those center sections. Um, I guess in an effort to keep from putting all that weight on the VB and having it break the water. Uh, this uh, dry dock system, I guess, is going to take part of the, that load in a submerged fashion, and then they'll raise the barge to help take the load off the VB. But the crews were there and looked like they were working. And of course, this is that uh, area where we think the uh, auto processing is going to take place for those cars that are in those center sections of the uh, Golden Ray.
Well, that's going to do it for today. We ask that if you haven't done it yet, hit the subscribe button. Click that subscribe button. Come on aboard with us. Send us some comments. Most of all, we want you guys to stay safe out there.